that I had always wanted to adopt and when I hit 30 and was not married I decided that I wanted to be a mom more than anything and I decided to adopt as a single woman because really having a child and being a mom was more important than anything else in my life at that time. When I first told my family and friends that I wanted to adopt they were shocked. I was only 27 years old but they realized I was serious and they supported me and once we saw my Elliot's face they went full throttle to supporting my adoption. I went in thinking I would have a little girl and had the mindset that I only wanted a little girl and was shown my son's face and I knew instantly that is what it was. He was mine and forever. I would belong in his heart and he, he would belong in mine. When I first met Elliot, it was a surreal moment. He ran out calling me I, which is mother in Marathi, the language that was all he knew. I spent the day at the orphanage getting to know and play with the other children, but more importantly, bonding with my son. And there was instant connection that has only grown. What I want others to know that are considering adoption, especially single moms, is you can do it. I am a single school teacher, and yes, it's hard, but it is so rewarding. And if you wait for the perfect time, it might never come. So jump in. You will never regret that you did. I just got tired of putting my life on hold, waiting for Mr. Wright to come along. I was 38 years old, and I wanted a family. I had visited India and fell in love with its people and culture, so I decided to adopt my daughter from India. I learned that India welcomes single adopted mothers, and I just knew, I just knew it was right for me. A little more than two years later, I returned to India for my son, Tommy. He was so tiny at the time, but he sure isn't now. I met my daughter Davy on her seventh birthday. I feel like I remember every detail of that day, the best day of my life. Those first few days in India were magical. We shopped for bangles and went out for lunch. She didn't speak English, but she was able to get her point across. She wanted her name to be Devi, which means goddess in India. I want single women to realize that time passes quickly. My daughter is getting married this year, and my son is a grown man. I can hardly remember my life before my children, and to be honest, I don't want to. All you need to do is make a commitment and take a giant leap of faith. In choosing a country, I've always been drawn to India and its culture. Um, I liked that there was only one trip in most of the regions of India, as I knew I personally would have had a hard time meeting a child and then leaving them in the orphanage while waiting for the rest of the adoption to process. My life has changed so much since becoming a mom. Everything, everything revolves around my daughter. Um, she's just the absolute light of my life and everything I do is to provide for her. It's a lot more fun and a lot more exhausting and I wouldn't change any of it. As a single woman, I'd, I've always wanted to adopt. I just hadn't found the right guy yet and I knew that I was ready to be a mom and so I just decided now is the time. I selected India because the timing of my second adoption was after Vietnam had closed to adoption for Americans. I started considering other countries, I talked to CHI, and I knew I wanted to choose a country that would be safe to visit when my son was older, and at that point India and South America were high on my list. As a single woman, I knew I'd always wanted to have children, but I hadn't gotten around to getting married. And I had a friend who adopted, and I had traveled with her to Vietnam. So it was kind of straightforward at that point. I adopted my first son from Vietnam through Children's House International, and I knew I wanted two children, so I immediately began talking to CHI again about my second adoption. Adoption is a wonderful way of having a family. To me, it's the only way that I could imagine. Being a single mom to adopted kids is just 
a great adventure. I was glad that I had a great adoption agency. I actually had started with a, a different adoption agency and with some time and thinking and, and research, I realized I needed to make a change. And so I think if I were going to give advice, I would suggest that you do a lot of research to learn what to expect and to find out who's got the best reputation in which countries. Being the mom to my two boys is the best thing I ever did.